going live. Hopefully it's live. Preview live. Okay, so it's a little behind. That's all right. Let me get the chat going. All right, guys, sorry. I just had a, I'm not using my phone. Well, I am using my phone tonight, but I'm not using my phone uh, to do the live stream. Hopefully, it looks like audio is good. Um, I'm using the studio software. Um, just changing it up tonight, that's all. And it looks like the volumes are good. We see you. All right, we're good. Welcome to another Friday night live stream. And uh, this was another Friday night that I was actually just going to take off to uh, kind of relax. Nothing bad happened this week. You know, the other week I was kind of bummed because of lost fish during shipments. Um, I got to work tomorrow morning, so I was like, oh, you know, I'll take tonight off and uh, relax. But I decided, you know what, last time I wanted to do that, I ended up having a ton of fun. So let's do the live stream. And uh, so here I am. Some new things to talk about. Um, audio is okay, but is different tonight. So I'm not using my phone as the streaming service. So normally it uses the microphone in my phone. Uh, right now it's using the microphone on my computer. Um, let me know what different means and then I can try to adjust. Um, does it sound too quiet, too loud? Does it sound like I'm in a fish tank? <laughs> you know, uh, let me know what it looks like and uh, I'll, I'll see if I can do adjustments. Um, anyways, replacement shipments went out this week and or new orders and so far pretty good results i know uh mr melhead uh josh ordered uh, a bunch of fish and they all made it to him a-okay and uh matt f got fish uh, a couple deaths in the bags but um other than that it made it uh in good condition or good I don't want to say good enough condition. That's not the right wording. But most of the fish, uh, except for a couple, made it there. And the thing with Matt, and I appreciate you, Matt, for doing this, is I'm constantly trying to improve any way uh, I ship fish, whether it's how I bag fish, how things are insulated, how I'm doing the heat packs. You know, I, I did do something different with heat packs. But uh, the last few shipments, I've been using these ammonia absorbers. And I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. Give me one second, and I'll just share my screen with you. Um, let me uh, do this, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So here we're on the website, 614fish.com. And 614 brand products, you go to these pads. Um, polyfiber, this is the most popular pad. The second most popular would be the carbon, and then I have, uh, not nitrate, but ammonia pads. And what these pads are, these are a filter material, and these are the ones that are, I guess technically you would say coated, um, like carbon, uh, the nitrate and the ammonias, the phosphates, they're kind of a stiff pad, uh, which is nice if you're trying to insert them into things, they, they hold their shape. The reason why they're stiff is that they have resins on them. And this resin, um, I believe it's zeolite, is uh, responsible for removing ammonia from your water. And let me get back. And what I did was I took one of my ammonia pads and I cut a little square out of it. And I put those little squares in the bags of fish. And with Matt's help, um, he knew I was doing a test. And what I did is half the bags of fish, I put the ammonia absorbers in. And the other half, I just let them uh, go as normal, which is just fresh water. The fish get fresh water uh, as soon as they go into the bags, and they get filled with oxygen, not just like room air. I actually have a cylinder of oxygen and put oxygen into the bags. He was awesome enough to do water test samples on all the bags, and the results show that the bags that had the ammonia absorbers did have less ammonia and what was i thought pretty cool it was it was bad but cool 
was every bag had ammonia in it. And a lot more ammonia than I thought would be in a bag for uh, a two-day trip. But what was the results were the ammonia pad did reduce the levels um, in the fish bag. So what that means to you guys, probably not much other than the pads do work. And I'm going to start using them in all my shipments. The only bags I probably I wouldn't use them on are shrimp bags because I use um, breather bags for shrimp. Um, so they don't get oxygen in the bags. Shrimp uh, are very low waste producers when they're in the bags. Uh, and they've always done 100% fine for me on shipping. But with fish, from now on, my new policy is I'm going to start putting ammonia pads. So I just want to thank Matt for uh, doing the water testing and giving me the results. So that way I know what was going on. And uh, it's real, real world results is what I want. And um, Matt uh, gave them to me. Uh, he also said it's a little quiet, kind of muffled, but not terrible. It might be, maybe I need to move the microphone. Sorry, that might be a dragging noise. Maybe I need to move the microphone closer. I am talking a little bit quieter tonight um, because I feel like I have a microphone. The microphone's right here. You guys can see it in the bottom corner. Um, I don't want to be, like, screaming into a microphone. I can boost the levels of the microphone up, so if I need to turn it up, uh, I can do that. It's at like 50% right now because I didn't want to uh, annoy you guys with something that was too loud. All right. So I hope everybody's doing well. I, I, I was not prepared for Ohio Fish Rescue to go live uh, at 630. Um, I recently have been busy doing things after work to where I barely make their live streams to begin with right now. And uh, I got their notification that they went live at 630. So I was Screamly, I hopped in and saw Josh got a new boat. Um, I was able to get a super chat in with the boat name. I said, um, oh, what was it called? P the Pumpkinator. And um, I hung out for a few minutes and then hopped off to do water changes. Because Friday night, uh, this tank gets its water top off. Because usually it's somewhere around here every week. Uh, so I top it off before the live stream. And since I dragged the hose from the fish room out to here... I do all the tanks in the house. So that's kind of what I do uh, pre the live stream. Also, either cook dinner or order dinner. Friday night's kind of usually like I typically will order dinner. It's like my night out type thing uh, just because I'm trying to get stuff ready for a live stream, um, get a shower, stuff like that. And a lot of times I don't get to take a shower until after the live stream, but I got it, I got it tonight. Um, but good to see everybody here. The other Tiffany glad you are here uh, i know life is busy with you but uh, hope all is well uh brian cook what's up big man not trying to be rude are you dieting because you look a lot thinner hope all is well uh no um i i wish i was thinner right now but no i'm pretty much the same um yeah we'll Maybe this summer, well, I'll get on top of things, but uh, no, uh, good question, but nope, not dieting. Oh, Geek Boy, good to see you, everybody. Uh, OFR sent us, glad that uh, you came from OFR, glad you're here, and uh, if you're new to this uh, channel, hit that subscribe button for me if you would, it does help me out. I appreciate it. Mrs. Melhead, good to see you. Um... If you guys have any questions, fish, shrimp, uh, aquatic business related, whatever, uh, tag me and then I'll be able to see the question easier. And uh, if you got automotive question, I probably would answer it, but uh, we'll keep those for the members only live streams. We'll try to keep it on topic as much as possible, but this is Squirrel Aquatics unofficially. Okay, did you fix your fower, your your fower, your shower faucet? So I don't remember the last thing I mentioned on that. So that's in the guest. Well, here's where the shower situation is. Um, if you guys remember, the faucet in my shower broke, and actually the knob is right here. Um, I think it's just like a, a tub spout or or whatever. And I ordered a new one, and it turned out, like, the one I have 
they don't make it anymore so they couldn't give me the parts so they had to send me a whole new one it's a little bit different in design but it's, it's not terrible um, but the problem I ran into is that my current spout threads onto the wall super easy just unthread it you're done the new one is a slip fit it's got like an o-ring it's made for just a copper pipe coming out of the wall and you just slip it right over the copper pipe the uh the problem is i have threads so i have not fixed it what i did was i took the the spout out of my guest bathroom put it into my main bathroom the master bathroom and so that way my shower is working the guest shower is not working because i need to cut the pipe off that's threaded and then um sweat in new copper pipe to use this new faucet uh it's just something that it's kind of like on the bottom list of projects right now because i don't ever use my guest bathroom uh shower for really anything so other than to wash the dogs but um they'll just use my master bath if i need to give them a bath um matt reed says how's the roof and how's the pups doing so the roof is not leaking um i kind of dropped the ball so i the roofer i found is like the best friend of one of my co-workers um he does does general construction work in my area but he lives like outside of town so the, the other weekend he was actually going to be in town and he was going to swing by to check out my roof to do a permanent fix uh I dropped the ball in the fact that it was like a Saturday and it was like, I don't know, four o'clock in the afternoon and I was tired and I took a nap. Well, I fell asleep and he had called me at the time I fell asleep. I missed his phone call and so I missed the window of him uh, checking the roof. Not a big deal because right now the water leak is fixed. It's just not a permanent fix. Um, so the next time he comes down in town, I'll have him swing by and I'll make sure I'm awake and have him give me a quote on permanently fixing the roof. And the the actual source, so since I know that since I sealed it and I'm not having a water leak, uh, the dryer vent where it goes through the roof, it's leaking around like the flashing. Uh, the shingles are all kind of janky around it, so I want that whole... It's not just like as simple as it sounds. It's not like just resealing the flashing. The, like the shingles need replaced around it to make it right. Um, so I want him to do that. And then on the other side of the roof, I have some shingles that keep popping. Like the screws are popping and it's creating like a big wrinkle in the middle. And I tried to like re-nail down the shingles last summer or the summer before. And it keeps messing up. So um, I want that to be fixed also um so yeah von yunzer dude send me pics on facebook to my messenger of the copper pipe i would totally give you solid advice once i can see what you're dealing with yeah i mean i can do that uh it should be something simple so von yunzer what i have is a copper pipe coming out my wall and there's just a threaded copper adapter on it um i just really have to cut that threaded adapter off and but the only thing is i had to look at the faucet i might not have enough pipe coming out of the wall for the faucet to slide onto so i might have to basically sweat in an adapter or not adapter but a longer piece so it shouldn't be too hard and i have everything to do it just i gotta do it um what was the other part it was all oh, the pups the pups are doing good um i actually shut the door to the office because um I fed the dogs dinner. Havana didn't want to go outside, uh, which is normal. She she's like a twice outside a day dog. She when she's got to go, she'll go outside. But other than that, I can't get her to go outside hardly at all. Um, Charlotte usually will go out now by herself, but uh, tonight she didn't want to go out by herself, so she'll be barking here soon to try to get Havana to go outside with her. So I shut the door to keep the noise down if she starts barking um so but other than that they're doing good uh i got them some chew toys the other week and they didn't touch them for at least a week and then i've been finding them buried 
throughout the house. And Havana does it, but Charlotte does it a lot too. They'll take, they'll chew the bone in half and they'll take one end of the bone and they'll shove it into the couch cushions so the other dog doesn't find it. I've also had Charlotte put it in the back cushions, like between two sections of the couch. So like, you know, I'll, I'll, Saturday night I'll sit down and watch a movie and, you know, you click the feet up and you lean back and a bone falls out. Um, I've also found them in my laundry basket uh, this week and also in my bed uh, underneath a blanket I found a piece of a rawhide. So that's always fun finding these uh, chew toys throughout the house. Uh, They're more concerned of hiding it than actually chewing them. Uh, is it a brass threaded adapter that is uh, soldered onto the copper pipe? Um, Von Yenz, I do believe it is a brass adapter. I do believe it, if I remember right, it is a brass adapter. Um, let me see. Talking about old cars, so I bet somebody's talking about a Jaguar. Uh, Von Yenzer said when you lifted the mic, it was a tad clearer and less hollow sounding. I don't know if I angle it differently. Maybe I'll angle it. It does have a foam, like, cover thingy, which is over there. I can get it. I don't know if that helps with it. I know that helps with, like, wind, but this also is a very cheap microphone. I see people live streaming with like really expensive like sure microphones and I don't know the other brands but this was a fairly inexpensive microphone Dougie said hope you're doing good bud oh forgot me tipsy so I'll stay quiet yeah uh, it sounds like it was a, a good live stream over there that's awesome um me i think i missed some super chats all right matt f thank you for the 614 super chat you are not allowed to take fridays off i will try to do my best to not do it um i wanted to tonight but it was i was smart enough that this afternoon i set the stream up early so did anybody get notifications earlier in the day let me know um i've been having problems with my member only live streams not sending out notifications um so i set this one up earlier today and i don't know if notifications go out earlier or if they still come on you know at lifetime or shortly before ihsp 614 super chat with a heart thank you so much i appreciate that and I did get an order right before the live stream, so that would be boxed up. Um, I didn't see who it was from. I just saw that I had an order from the website. So thank you for whoever uh, placed an order, too. Um, as far as fish and plants and stuff like that, most of the stuff is taken off of the web. Not taken off the website. Most of the stuff is listed as sold. Uh, sold out on the website and that's just so i can get eyes on all the plants because there's some plants that are ready to go um and there's some plants that need to convert still so i, I got some amazon swords back here that are ready to go some are still converting uh there's some crypts and red melon swords that are looking pretty good but i don't really want to sell them yet until they um are really looking good so I just need to go through and see what's what with inventory. So that'll be this weekend. And speaking of inventory, if anybody's looking for plants or fish, um, there is a new feature. I do believe I mentioned it on last week's live stream. Maybe I didn't. And, oh, I can show you guys. So let me pull it up. And I'll flip over. So if you're on the website, and let's go to, uh, let's go to plants. So, all plants. Christmas monster will always pretty much be in stock because I'm always selling it. Uh, so, let's... Well, that doesn't help. That doesn't help. Nubius Nana. Say if you want one of these. And 
granted guys so I need to go in and change the description um, on some of the plants and I, what I need to change it is uh, well this one just says it's a small to medium portion of Nubius Nana it doesn't specifically say it's potted some say it's potted um, some plants are growing uh, really well to where I'm propagating my own plants so instead of buying farm raised plants and then converting them I'm just growing my own stuff um, if if it's grown quick enough uh, if I do grow my own stuff I can pot it or it might come loose in a bag um, so I just I need to make it clear so people if they're expecting a pot and it shows up not in a pot they won't be surprised I need to mark it may or may not be potted but let's uh, hop back and I'll show you what I came over here for so a new feature on the website is let's say you want one of these but were sold out before you had to rely on me telling you it was back in stock or you had to keep checking the website but on stuff that's sold out over here this blue box notify when available so you click on that you type in your email address you hit notify me what that does is puts you into my website I'm trying to flip back puts you into my website through software on the website as wanting to know when that comes back in stock you guys have seen this on pretty much every website out there um, it's supposed to work as soon as I say hey I have five of these Anubis Nana Petites or just Nanas available I put add to inventory well the software is supposed to see me add it and then email you hey this is available um, I think I can get in depth with it where it will tell you how many is available so if I put five in stock it'll tell you like hey there's five in stock I think right now it just has like a threshold where it says like it's in stock but we can't guarantee how many are left um, if it's a lower amount of numbers um, so this is a good tool not only for uh, for plants but for also like products uh, the paracleanse pretty much all the the uh, Fritz medications are really hard to get right now so paracleanse has been sold out I keep ordering it I just can't get it but this is a product that you'll be able to click let me know when this is available and the reason uh, one of the reasons I want to mention this to you guys um, medications are something that you should have on hand at all times and not only when you just need it and what I mean by that is don't let the fish get sick and then you try to get the medication because now it's a race against time where if you have it on hand if you had a, a bottle of medication or the packets um, I have some packets right here so if you have the packets of medication on hand you notice a, an illness you can treat it right away so I always recommend having medications even if you don't have an issue because uh, you never know what might happen and something like the most common thing I would say would be like ick uh, ick can come from just stress if you lose power and your tank temps drop uh, enough it might just stress the fish out and give them ick um, so having something like ick eggs on hand uh, is useful and unfortunately right now paracleanse is out of stock and I, I'm trying to get it guys because it's like one of my top sellers um, I do have general cure in stock so I do have um, like not not replacements but uh a variety of medications so if you know paracleanse is out you know you can pick up general cure um, but yeah so that that notification box is new to the website where's my mouse it's new to the website and uh, I suggest using it for wh whatever product even if you want or if you're looking for fish um, do 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 all these should be out of stock right now yeah so if you're looking for uh, super reds if you want to know when it's in stock just click it but I don't think I need to show you guys anymore I think you get the the gist but um uh, Vanya is there with a super chat 614 super chat thank you so much the Christmas moss I got from you in my last order is going gangbusters and my Amazon swords are finally starting to thrive with the 614 third uh, that's awesome to hear and yeah that moss I'm telling you it's like a Frankenstein moss 
Um, I've tried mosses before, and I, it just it's always grown really slow for me. This Christmas moss, and you know what? To be 100% honest, I don't even know if it's 100% Christmas moss. That's what I bought it as. It was labeled Christmas moss, so I'm just continuing, continuing that uh, on. It looks like Christmas moss, but it could be a hybrid of something from uh, the planet Krypton, for all I know, because it grows everywhere for me. Uh, highlight, it's awesome. It gets really compact. Uh, that's what's in my quarry tank. And under low light, it still grows. It's real stringy, uh, real stringy like. But under decent light, it grows really well. If it's it's a medium to highlight, it grows kind of like a um, like an evergreen bush. It's it's very round. Um, and the lower light just kind of gets further and further out. But that stuff grows uh, gangbusters for me as well. And that's why I sell it for three bucks or whatever a portion because. Uh, I pretty much can grow it in any tank. The only tank I have not been able, well, not been able to, it didn't grow at all, really, was the quarry tank before I switched on the coral lights on it. Uh, so I went from no light to extreme light, and it, it went from real leggy to super compact and awesome looking under extremely high light. Uh, that coral light just... It's way too much, but the moss has grown. It's not grown like crazy. It's just super dense, which has its own look to it. It's pretty cool. Uh, Matt said, Big Rich overfilled a tank, and Josh had to clean it up before a date. When was that? That does not sound like a good time. Uh, gone fishing with Slim said, why not sweat a straight piece into the threaded fitting screw and push the faucet into that no cutting necessary? Uh, so that's a really good idea, but if I remember correctly, I think the faucet pipe is half inch copper and then that uh, brass adapter that's on it, the threaded part, is like one inch. And so the hole where I would like what you're saying is put the pipe in that and then I don't have to cut anything it's a one inch pipe so I would have to like get a one inch piece of copper and reduce it back down because I think the faucet is designed for a half inch pipe um, and I, I feel like that brass fitting I'd have to look at it to double check but I don't think it's just like a, a straight cut like half inch straight to one inch I think it's actually got a taper to one inch um, so I don't think I'd be able to do it like that Um, let me see. I'm trying to get back up because I saw some aquarium chats. Um, I'm drinking water. This is not vodka. Uh, Seth says, do you only have quarries and tetras? Uh, just curious, always shopping. So I have, uh, most of the fish are tetras. Uh, tetras, guppies, quarries, plecos, um, rainbow fish. And to be honest, I'm going to stop doing tetras because it's kind of, um, to be honest, uh, to be 100% honest, it's kind of a waste of money for me to be selling Tetras. Tetras are so common. I thought when I bought all these Tetras last year, be, yeah, before really COVID hit everything hard, um, I was like, man, I'm going to get a lot of common fish that people are constantly buying. Well, it turns out you guys, the fish enthusiasts, typically aren't buying the super common stuff. Um, and the people that do buy the super common stuff, they just go to the local pet store, PetSmart or Petco or whatever, and they buy them for a couple bucks locally and not have to pay the shipping on a $2 fish, right? Um, so the goal is for, my goal is to uh, sell the rest of my Tetras, which I have a ton. Uh, my Diamond Tetras are massive right now, and uh, the Glow Light Tetras are pretty much bursting at the seams to where 
I think I need to put a bunch of moss in there and see if I can get them scattering some eggs. And then, um, I got some Harlequin Rasboras. I, I got like a handful of those left. But what I want to do is clear out those tanks and I'm going to start gearing up for uh, shrimp. So I, I always have a list of people for shrimp. Uh, shrimp I can never keep up with in like year, year and a half ago before COVID. Um, I started buying wholesale shrimp from Flip Aquatics just because I couldn't keep up with the demand. So I think to make life a little bit easier for me and um, I'm going to start reducing, I'm going to get rid of the Tetras. Like Tetras are gone. I'll probably still do Corydoras because I really enjoy Corydoras. I think they're cute, awesome little fish. They're a great cleanup crew. Um, they also, and, and speaking of cleanup crew, you can't only treat Corydoras as cleanup cl crews because if you don't get food to the bottom, you can actually uh, do a disservice and not feed the Corydoras. Some people don't feed them at all thinking they'll get food that's left over. Sometimes there's not leftover food. Um, like in this tank, food rarely hits the bottom unless I get a fast sinking food. But if I put flakes in this tank, um, this is all pretty much powder, so this is going to be a bad example. Um, but if it was big flakes, these rainbows don't let it hit the bottom because they, they're little pigs. Um, so that's, you have to make sure you're feeding your quarries. Um... I'm trying to think. I just squirreled. I have... Oh, so back to Tetris. So I probably won't be doing Tetris because if I sell 30 Tetris, I might make two bucks off of it. And two bucks doesn't pay for the amount of food I've put into these Tetris over the last 12 months or however long I've had them. Um, Alyssa said, Brian Cook, what is your opinion on sponge filters versus air stones? Which do you think is better? Well, I mean, I know that's directed at somebody else, Alyssa, but that's really two different things. So this is just an air stone uh, that's right here, and that's just to put oxygen into the tank. The filtration on this tank is actually a canister filter uh, that's behind this tank, so it's out of sight. Um... But a sponge filter is actually filtering um, your tank water for particles, and it's also your biological. It's going to house a bunch of bacteria. Uh, air stones, you're just adding air to a tank. So it's kind of a hard comparison because they're, they're really two different purposes. A sponge filter does both, though. A sponge filter is filtering and also adding uh, oxygen. Okay, let me move on through the chat. I kind of got jumped around, so I'm trying to catch back up. As well as using root tabs. Yes. So Amazon Swords love root tabs. And um, speaking of which, I need to basically use up all these version 1.0s. Uh, well, it's actually version 1.2 um, of these root tabs. And go to the next version of a little bit heavier on the fertilizer and less on the calcium. But you can see these plants in the back. They're looking pretty raggedy right now. Uh, these are the swords I added a few weeks ago. They're still uh, converting from immersed grown to submerged grown. And a lot of people would cut the leaves or the stems off, like especially this guy over here. Uh, the leaf is pretty much completely transparent and brown. There's a little bit of green on it. Somebody will cut that off because it looks bad. Don't do that. Let your plants die off because what's happening is the plants are uh, extracting their own nutrients out to set new growth out the center of the plant. So never cut off. Uh, I don't know. Can you see it? There's actually a leaf right there that had come off one of the plants. Maybe a pleco knocked it off as it's because obviously the plant's getting weak. Um, and there's some fatty plecos in there. Um, so it might have got knocked off. And it's just floating. I, I need to take it out. But, um, yeah, just just let your plants go and they'll, they'll be much happier. Uh, Brian said, I'd rather not see a sponge filter. I think they're eyesores. Seeing the sponge filter in a tank.
do, do. Oh, man. My chat just jumped. Hang on, guys. I'm trying to get back up to wherever I was. Texas Fisher, I'm good to see you. Um, do, do, do. Uh, Von Yunzer said, is there an O-ring on the brass piece? Uh, I do believe so. I do believe there is a uh, O-ring. Uh, Von Yunzer, because I'll forget. Shoot me a message on Facebook Messenger, and I'll, I'll send you a picture. Because I honestly, bud, I'll forget. And I don't want you to think I'm ignoring you. I'll just, I'm terrible about remembering things. Um, do, 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 do. Okay, I think I'm almost caught up. Okay, at SE, but when I get my 240 up and going, you'll help me get an order, like, 100 Tetris to go with a Mabu. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll still do special orders. Uh, that's no problem. You know, if anybody ever wants a specific fish, I mean, if it's not something that I don't keep, I will order it. If you guys saw a few months ago, I ordered, I forget what it was, like 10-ish albino ear descent sharks. Um... Because that was a special order. Somebody was looking for 10 of them, and I got them. But uh, Chris Trot, ooh, I'm going to mess up your last name. I was about to say Trotter, but the I, Trottier, Trottier? I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I'm sorry. But I'll just, Chris, good to see you. Um, I've been listening from the start. However, this starts by... Minions bedtime. How's your week been? Uh, Chris, it's been good this week. Weather is awesome this week. Uh, we, this beginning of the week, it was actually pretty cold, but uh, we kind of ramped up. It was almost 80 degrees a couple days, so that was super nice. Uh, I heard it's supposed to get a little bit cooler. Um, I was a little bit worried with some of the shipments in the beginning of the week because um, for some reason we had like a little bit of a cold snap. Okay, did I just see Oddball Aquatics? Oddball Aquatics is here. She knows not to call me. In fact, she called me before the live stream, but she knows not to call. When she does call, it's because um, she didn't realize somehow. That's what she says. She says she doesn't realize. I think it's all a trick. Dude. Is that is it Trottier? Trottier. Okay. Um, so, the, I actually had a topic for tonight, and it's 614 products. So, we kind of talked about the root tabs. Uh, that's That's been, what, like a couple months now? Just I haven't perfected it yet, so that's why there's no official root tabs or anything for sale until it's a good product um my current product which you probably saw in the community tab is decapsulated brine shrimp this is also known as instant baby brine through i forget the company ocean Nut nutrition or something like that or maybe it's a whole different company um basically it's baby brine shrimp eggs well brine shrimp eggs that they dissolve the shell off of. And somebody was asking about it, and the best way to think about it is instead of uh, incubating an egg and hatching it like you would real baby brine shrimp, this is removing the egg, and it's like a, a raw egg. And there's pros and cons. They say that the pros are it's more nutritional for the fish. And the science, I guess, behind it is if you take an egg... And you eat a raw egg you're getting all the nutritional value out of that egg now if you hatch that egg the the live brine is consuming its nutrients to hatch right uh it's kind of like a chicken with the egg and you know it's absorbing even with fish it absorbs the uh egg sac or egg yolk and um so it's consuming so scientifically or a fact I guess is that there's more nutrition in a decapsulated egg than a live baby brine the downside to it and that's what I'm testing right now is 
this stuff doesn't swim all over your fish tank and that's a good a good thing for live fish is seeing the the baby brine swim around they can eat it um it's constantly moving so it can be you know the live baby brine could be, last in your aquarium for like a day or two days i don't know it's always gone within like 10 minutes um but they do survive for a while so you don't have uh that fouling of water from dead um brine shrimp so the 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 thing that i was afraid of is that putting this into a tank it would just immediately sink to the bottom which hey that'd be good for corridors but any midwater fish or fish that won't eat off the bottom uh cpds won't touch food off the bottom at least in my experience out in the fish room i do have cpds out there they won't touch anything off the bottom and they really don't even go to the surface they want it midwater, and that's it um so i've been using this and here's what i've found so far it typically floats on the water tension and when the fish start grabbing it it gets into the water column and some of it does hit the bottom but majority of it's staying on the top which i like because um it takes it longer before it'll sink um so far i fed it to i think all the tanks in the fish room the only tanks i know i specifically did not feed this to was the cichlid tank because this would be kind of wasted on the cichlids because uh, they're so big um in the shrimp tanks i didn't put it in the shrimp tanks but i'm sure shrimp would probably still eat this um maybe i'll be able to test it on this nano tank in here and try to get some close-up shots to see if they would eat it i bet they would um but i used it on the globite tetros on the vienna guppies the harlequin rasboras the cpds the green neons the parkinsonis um Haley oddball aquatics um rainbow fish i have a tank of those they ate it um pretty much everything's eaten it. it's baby brine shrimp it's just not like live swimming around um so yeah um so i'm in the testing phase this is what the jar would look like um if you get it and here's where i need your guys' help scoops where do i find these so all this packaging is all this is all house branded this is me uh doing everything from a to z if you will and these little scoops so the company that this is from um i got a sample bag it comes bulk and so i have to use the scale um which you know this is my male scale but i have a it's right here a tiny scale for doing uh, my fertilizers well they sent me this one scoop so I can test out their product well I obviously need to include I don't obviously I'm sure everybody's got a way of putting brine shrimp into a tank um, but I want to include a scoop it just it makes sense this this is like the standard I've seen with everything and I was on Amazon looking for a scoop and this isn't labeled to like how much it holds i guess um i found rounded scoops which would be kind of like this i don't know if you guys can see this it's kind of rounded this is like what i see with uh like when you buy bulk medicines my bulk uh jar of like general cure has a scoop like this so i'm trying to find little tiny scoops to include uh with these so i need your help trying to find them so if anybody just so happens to come across them i need to buy uh not just one but i need to buy bulk so if it comes in a 10 pack 20 pack 50 pack something like that um that's what i'm trying to find and i'm not trying to pay like four dollars a scoop either you know this should be like i mean definitely less than a dollar but if anybody has an idea um i was on amazon and ebay I just couldn't find exactly what i was looking for but let me keep going another super chat from krista smith 15 bucks thank you so much good to see you in here but uh thanks so much says just checking in well i hope you uh having a good friday night don't forget to smile and uh thank you so much for the super chat 
Jim Sheasley with the five dollar super chat says happy Friday. Thank you so much, Jim. I appreciate that. I heard you were at Ohio Fish Rescue. That's awesome. Wish I could have been up there to meet you. Um, I do have. I, I don't know if I told you guys, but I, I'm sending OFR a package in the mail. I got them some fish food um, for them to try out. And if you guys know me and Ohio Fish Rescue, it's not just going to be regular fish food. Uh, it's going to be fun. I told Josh to video record unboxing this fish food. So um, my members, if I do a member-only live stream this weekend, which I've been kind of doing on Sundays, um, I'll, I'll spill the beans on what I'm sending to OFR. But, um, yeah. Let me uh, go up. Texas Fish Room says you line. IHSP says that scoop is way too big. Yeah, I mean, this is just what they sent me. Um, this honestly looks just, uh, well, this part looks just like the general cure scoop, other than the general cure scoop is longer. Um, but yeah, I need to measure, like, if this is like 2 cc's or 3 cc's then I need like a 1 cc but um yeah 1 8 or 1 16 so what is this one so this is a 1 8 so this metal one's a 1 8 so really it needs to be even smaller than that um so I'm guessing 1 16 these I bought this like really nice metal uh set when I do my uh, dry fertilizers um, and to be honest I use them for a while and then I don't even use them anymore I do everything off weight now uh, so now I just use one scoop and I add everything by weight um, because originally I was doing everything off the formula like you need uh, a half teaspoon of this fertilizer with uh, an eighth teaspoon of this well it's just easier to do everything by weight. Uh, I just set up that little miniature scale, and I put, um, I got a little container over there, and then I just do everything off weight. It's way easier and faster, you just done. So yeah. So I yeah, I, I, guess I didn't think about that. So I guess somebody could scoop this whole thing and dump that into a tank. What I was doing was scooping it, and then just doing a little bit in this tank, a little bit in this tank, you know, I know not to, like, dump this whole thing in. Um, I got to see how much. So, I this is a two-ounce container. But I want to, I'm going to probably sell this by, well, I don't know if it's, it's going to be sold by weight. Because I think the Instant Baby Brine is, like, 0.7 ounce. Which, if that's the case, it's got to be smaller than this. Because this is two ounce. But they must be doing it off of weight. But it'll be a two ounce jar worth, which for baby Brian, that's that's a lot. Um, and the goal is to be the cheapest on the market, to uh, give you a reason to uh, at least try it, and then I can get feedback, and we'll go from there. But you know, you know, first step is to do the R and D on it and see if it's a good product, and then from there, I got to do a label and label this little sucker so i think what i'm gonna do is just do a circular label on top versus doing something on the glass uh just a little round label which would be uh oh that's actually pretty close but you know this is you know one of my sc labels <laughs> look at that it fits it good i mean it's it's a little too big but you know round label on top but with product information not just my logo um but something like on top to tell you like hey this is not for you to eat not for human consumption uh it, it's funny that you gotta tell people not to eat cat food or dog food or fish food um i do know um people eat dog food and cat food and stuff but anyways that's a different topic Uh, Chevy Fish says Hobby Lobby has many powder scoops. Um, Chevy Fish, thanks for telling me. E even without the link, I'll uh, I'll know to go to Hobby Lobby and search for powder scoop. Um, 
you know, maybe it's just, you know, when it gets that small, it's going to have to be a spoon. I found ones, but they look like little spoons. But, you know, maybe that small, it's going to have to be that. I was just thinking, like, this kind of like, reminds me of a mini bucket. But uh, maybe once I get that small, it's going to be more of a spoon anyways. But I, I found them in a spoon. I was just trying to find, like, the cup-looking ones. But, um, yeah. But thank you guys, everybody, for the help. I don't know. Uh, Matt said, what's the size of this? I don't know. It, it's not labeled um, what this is. But it, it needs to be smaller than that. Because somebody's going to dump all this into like a little five gallon bowl and they'll tear through a two ounce jar really, really quickly. Um, <laughs> and John says, also, do not smoke or vape product. Do not inhale. Do not snort. Do not vape. Do not smoke. Do not, do not, do not. Only feed to fish. Oh, man. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Mike, good to see you. Says, if I can get off work tomorrow at a decent time, I'll stop over and buy some of that awesome North North Finn fish food and bring the Parkinsona home. Yes, um, I, I also work tomorrow. I should be home sometime noon 30, 12 30 or so. Um, these are actually Mike's um, Parkinsonis that uh, I've been borrowing basically to breed and then. I, I messaged him what I want to do, and I guess I'll tell you guys now, is, uh, hey, I'm getting a message about my current resolution. I don't know. We'll just keep rolling. Um, I want to pull these Parkinsoni out, and as much as, that's my favorite rainbow fish, by the way, as much as these guys look awesome behind me, and it's a good fit, like, you know, that orange on the green, uh, they're a decent sized fish in this 55 gallon I want to put the Vienna guppies in here and not all of them I basically want to put a few pairs and have Vienna guppies back here and the main reason is is I kind of want to change it up like okay you know these are awesome fish but let's get something else but I also want to um, have the Vienna guppies breed quicker and the more I can split them into more and more tanks, the quicker they can breed. Um, so I want to put Viennas back here. So that's the plan. And not only Viennas, but I can put uh, glow like Tetras in there. You know, I can put other fish. I can't put any guppies in here because these ginormous hogs of uh, rainbows will eat whatever goes in that tank. Uh, not that they're... I guess they kind of are predatory, like a predator fish, not like a monster fish. But um, if it moves, they're trying to eat it in that tank for sure. And then um, I think it was Matt sent me a message or Mike. Somebody sent me a message. Uh, last live stream I was talking about using the co-op uh, test strips and that I was having this thing where like the pads were falling off and I showed you guys in the live stream. Um, Corey's live stream, his last live stream, he mentioned that. So he said that there was a, a percentage of their test strips in their first run um, that one pad was falling off on them, and that's what I was seeing. Um, you know, he was trying to, I don't want to say defend the product, maybe, I mean, defend it, but say, you know, in a normal case, you might get 25, but we give you 200. I'm not complaining about it at all. It doesn't affect the reading. I noticed I was still getting my readings, and um, yeah, he gets. It's an incredible buy. It really is. Um, so definitely not complaining about it. It's just something that I saw uh, through testing or use, and it's cool that he, you know, he he knows about it, and I'm sure you know people, other people. Uh, Matt said it was me, so Matt messaged me about it. Um, so other people had the same issue and I'm sure they'll get it corrected. Um, did you see my link? Hang on. All right, Matt, you are now a moderator, so you'll be able to post links. There we go. Uh, IHSP posted a link. Let me click on it and see what it is. Um, that's actually, I think, the pack I saw. So those are... Sp 
well, those look kind of like scoops. They're not like squared off, but no, that that's great. That will work. And you know what? Those are the ones because the thing I was worried about is they look really long. So three, three and a quarter inches. So they're that long. So that's like basically these guys. All right, that's not as bad. The picture, for some reason, they look super long. So I was like, man, like, I don't want to have a scoop that's this long and try to have to box that. Um, but no, I guess, I guess now that I visually have the ruler, I can see it. Uh, those would work. One thirty-second teaspoon. I will uh, order those and see how they do. Twenty-four pack, perfect. I'm buying it right now. All right. Where are we at? We're coming up to the one hour mark already. So quick. Um, uh, Matt F. He's talking about two videos. So Matt took two videos of the fish I sent him. Um, I sent him Vienna guppies and also um, the no name. It's the cross line. It's the. He called it the 614 guppies. Uh, it's the cross between green cobras and blue tuxedos that have kind of been breeding in my fish room for the last year or so. I just sent him a bunch. I had a ton, so I sent him a bunch just as uh, freebies. Um, he, he's been an awesome supporter of the channel. Uh, he's placed big fish orders before. And I was like, you know what? Let's. I'm going to send you some, and here's some free... I, I asked him first. I didn't want to just send... 10 extra guppies and because you know with guppies typically if you're buying specific lines it's because you have a tank for that line you're not crossbreeding them so i knew i you know i knew that maybe he doesn't have a tank for these so i asked i'm like do you have an extra tank set up by chance and he did so i'm like cool i'm sending you some extra guppies uh nothing crazy there's just this extra line they're not even the line's not even set so it's kind of they're to me they're mutt guppies still it's just, it's at the very start of a new line of guppies, um, which who knows, in two years from now, maybe they'll have some cool name and, you know, not Vienna guppies, but maybe they'll be called Columbus guppies or Ohio guppies. I don't know. Um, who knows down the road, but um, it's the start and, you know, some of the males are looking, looking like fire, so... Um, but he took a couple videos of those, and I think that's what he was trying to post or did post. I'm not so sure. All right. A lady, Jim Sheasley, thank you so much for the super chat, the five bucks. Uh, Jim said, a lady from up the street gave me a seven-inch flower horn. I put him in my 220. He got beat up by Paku. So... Two things on that, Jim. One, like, I don't know anybody in my, up, up my street, down my street, over my street, under my street that has fish other than me. Um, I'm sure somebody maybe in this neighborhood does, but uh, let alone a flower horn. That's pretty cool. Uh, so that's cool that, A, you got somebody in your neighborhood that's got fish. Two, it's cool that they had a flower horn. Three, it's cool that they even gave you a flower horn. Um, and what's crazy is I wouldn't think the Paku would, would mess with a flower horn, but... Um, you know, it sucks that he got beat up by it, but, um, yeah, that's, how big's the Paku? I don't, you know, maybe it's small enough it's seen it as competition or something? I don't know. Um, I never kept Paku, uh, obviously, but, um, yeah, I don't know. That sucks that they, they didn't get along, but, um, hopefully... See, I would think it'd be the other way around. I would almost think that the flower horn would pick on the Paku, but that's cool. It's well, not cool that they got in a fight, but it's cool that you got both. Um, where are we at? Uh, IHSP says it doesn't even show up for us to unhide. Yeah, so well, Matt, you should be able to post it now that you're a moderator. Moderators can post links. Um, if you guys ever try to post a link, it auto hides it. Not even my moderators can see links. Uh, that's to keep basically trolls or bots or spam coming in and posting links like, "Come check out my yoga channel." Come check out my yoga channel or, 
or come check out my porn site. You know, you, crap you don't want in a stream. Uh, that's why it automatically hides the links, uh, especially if it was like a sponsored stream. Let's say I'm sponsored by uh, API or something like that. Well, you wouldn't want somebody posting like, oh, don't use API, use Fritz. Here's a Fritz link. Like, they don't, you know, it's can't have links. But moderators are allowed to because they typically promote the channel. Like, like for instance, my channel, they promote the website 614fish.com. But, Jim, thanks again for the super chat. I do appreciate it. All right, guys. We are at the one hour mark. Um, I want to thank you, everybody, for hanging out with me tonight. Uh, thank you for the super chats. Oh, wait a minute. Squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. <laughs> I, I got so sidetracked. So I was talking about uh, this product, right? Uh, so this is probably going to be the next 614 product officially launched. Right behind that, it's going to be 614. And there's not a name on this yet. So I was asking in the community tab, uh, name ideas. I haven't officially settled on a name for this. So if you have ideas... You can post it on the community tab or in the comments on this live stream. Uh, typically, it's going to be a 614 and then a name. So 614 uh, Brian, 614 Decapped, something. Um, the next product to launch, I guess, behind that will be 614 Assault, which is going to be freshwater aquarium salt. It's not marine salt, so it's not going to be the mineral packed marine salt which is still good for tanks um but this is going to be salt specifically for freshwater tanks um i right now the issue i'm having is with packaging um i was trying to um be resourceful and i'll just show you and use packaging i already have so this is uh, packaging I use. You can see this is the smaller version up here. These are my like botanicals. It's a smaller version of this. Um, I was going to repurpose this. I heat seal everything so it's sealed so nothing leaks. Um, keeps moisture out. But I was going to use this for the salt. But this holds like two pounds of salt. And it seems like most people buy like one pound bags. So it's either I buy more smaller version of these, which I'm not against because I use them for a ton of different products, or I'll be selling salt in a two pound bag instead of the typical one pound bag <clears throat> that people sell salt at. But that's the next product. Um, I got to work on the graphics part. Uh, I no longer have Photoshop. I thought I had Photoshop, but Photoshop has switched to a subscription based service. To where you pay like 20 bucks a month and i was like man like 20 bucks a month for photoshop like that's crazy so i must have canceled it a long time ago so i need to uh get my photoshop back and um then i'll go back into you know doing like a label so that's the second product uh in the line so salt will be number two the third product well it'll probably be like third fourth and fifth uh, will be botanicals, adding new botanicals, which are ones I have here. Um, you know, there's multiple different kinds that I have. And those will actually probably come out sooner than later. Um, they just, I need to do pictures and, once again, labeling. Uh, so, and then there was something else. Squirrel. I forget the other product. Anyways... More stuff coming out. And then the, the fried food's getting redone. Uh, but that's kind of like on the back burner right now. In root tabs. About to forget the root tabs. So root tabs. So there's a lot of products that are uh, supposed to be in the works for this summer. I'd rather not have them be this summer. I'd rather have them sooner. So uh, it looks like, you know, as long as this goes well, you know, packaging's already set up for it. This will be next uh, along with salt. Salt's just working on graphics. Um, I just got to get that done. So maybe salt comes first. I don't know. Anyways, guys, that's what I wanted to talk about tonight before I squirreled and got off topic. Did I get another super chat? Holy cow. Who's the Jim again? Jim with another $5 super chat uh, said I pulled him, put him in 90 gallon cichlid tank. Think he'll be okay. 
where you will start fighting with the cichlids. Um, yeah, so I never had flower horns before. I've had cichlids. I, I have convicts right now. Anybody ever wants convicts, come see me. Um, and I know flower horns can be aggressive, so... Um, I would assume he'd probably heal up just fine, and then he'll probably turn into, like, a tank boss. But I don't know how your other cichlids would fare against him. Uh, especially seven inches. But, um, yeah. You know, I, I don't know if a flower horn has to be, like, a species or fish-only type of tank. Uh, you know, like a 55, maybe, something like that. But they're beautiful fish. They really are. Um, hopefully that gets all sorted out for you, though, Jim. Uh, Matt F says, At Jim Sheasley is such a great supporter of the fish community. That is 100% true. Uh, I see Jim supporting OFAR heavily, um, which is much appreciated, and appreciate you supporting me. And uh, Jim, instead of all these $5 Super Chats, I'd rather have you... Uh, save that five bucks and become a member of the channel because then you get a little bit extra stuff you get extra community posts and extra live streams here and there um, so I'd rather have you uh, get more out of your five bucks so uh, you know your ten bucks I appreciate it. don't don't get me wrong I appreciate your ten bucks um, but that's two months worth of membership so there's my little ad for members if you are interested in becoming a member it's a uh, $4.99 a month and no guarantees. I, I'd never tell anybody, I guarantee you, you'll have extra videos, extra behind the scenes, extra, extra, extra. No guarantees, guys. Uh, members do get their own discount code on the website. So you save some money when you place an order. So that kind of pays for your membership. And uh, you'll get a, a random uh, members only live stream, which is just BSing. There's no rules. So I, I, you know, I might cuss on there more or uh, talk talk crap about cars because that's my day job and uh, it's just a good time but uh yeah but i want to thank everybody courtney just placed my second order well courtney thank you so much i appreciate that um and just so you guys know i do notice like when people place multiple orders um when i get the notification let's say it says courtney i'll say this is their second order so i noticed that and i do appreciate you guys and um I do try to do extra stuff for people that are placing multiple orders. Courtney, don't don't make me a liar. Like I might not do anything on your second order, but like when I saw somebody put like their twelfth order in, I sent them some free food samples. Or um, I know it was kind of Christmassy, so maybe it was a Christmas only thing. But I know um, like the week of Christmas, I saw people that were doing repeat orders. I was writing them like little hand thank you notes, like. I see this is like your fourth order. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And it's just a thank you note. I try to do stuff uh, because I do appreciate you guys. Um, but yeah, so um, I appreciate it. Uh, Courtney says, very welcome. Lots of great deals on fish food. Yeah, I, I try to keep everything as cheap as possible for you guys without uh, getting in trouble with the manufacturers. Uh, if you've followed for any amount of time, I got in trouble not once but twice with Hikari Foods, which I swore up and down was going to drop their foods. But I mean, they do have good foods. Their their foods are fantastic. But what had happened was, and it was a mistake on my part, and I fixed it. Was I was marking stuff for sale, and I was well below their minimum advertised pricing. It's called Map. Uh, legally, they say this is what you have to sell that. If not, you know, it's a, well, I don't know if it's legally or it is legally, but you have to sell that 10 bucks a pop. Well, I was selling them at like 8 bucks on sale. Uh, I got caught through their computer scanners and they emailed me. Uh, they slapped me saying, you can't do that, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, hey, like, I totally didn't even think about it. I was just like, I see everybody selling them at 10 bucks. Let me sell it at 8 on sale. You know, like, but then I was like, all right, well, I'll fix it. That's my bad, but I fixed it. Um, don't forget to use discount codes. Uh, members get extra discount, but the generic discount code is YouTube. So if you want, I think it's 10% off your order. Uh, place your order, use the discount code YouTube. Um, members get, I think, 15% off of all orders. So they get a little bit more uh, just to say thank you for being a member. 
Anyways, guys, I gotta go because I hear Havana barking now. So Havana's barking, that means she needs to go outside. I don't want any uh, Xana doo-doo, doo-doo on my carpet. But I saw you, Xana doo-doo. Good to see you. Anyways, gotta go. Gotta go let the dogs out. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and the continued support. All the Super Chats. You guys are super awesome. Appreciate you. Um, members? I might try to do a members live stream on Sunday. It'll be sometime in the afternoon. Uh, IHSP says, I always forget the discount code. Yeah, I, I you know. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta use that discount code. IHSP, I appreciate you. Uh, using it, not using it, forgetting about it, not forgetting about it. No, go ahead and use it. That's what's there for. Um, Krista has gone by yourself to Tim's, eh? Squirrel, thank you. Thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you next Friday, members. I'll see you Sunday. Hope you have a good weekend and keep taking it along, guys. See ya.